Hello everyone, in this video, we are going to check out the observability of Sunbolt 3, especially the metric pillar, by enabling product ready features using Actuator. In this demo demo, we are going to deploy one Springboard app on localhost port 8080 and export the metric endpoint for Remetius as slash Actuator slash Remetius. The second component is Remetius. It's deployed using Docker Compose, so that's why it's in the Docker network. And for example, if you want to script data by calling localhost, it won't work here. For development and demo purposes, in this video, we are using the special DNS name host.docker.internal, which results to the internal IP address used by the host machine. The last one is Rafana. It's deployed using Docker Compose as well, so it's in the same network as Prometheus and can interact to Prometheus by calling through the domain name Prometheus. Okay, let's go ahead and start creating a simple Spring Boot application here. Start the Spring Boot Radio, we're going with Spring Boot 3. The cloud here. Low service, jar 17, and we like to have a quick and obviously the arc tutor. Okay, okay, then put it here, unchip it, and open IntelliJ. What? CD observe it IntelliJ K Let's run the application And you see exposing one endpoint actual third. The application started on about 880, right? Then let's accept it. One, no, actual third. And you will see only health endpoints is exposed here. So this is also the default endpoint was exposed by the actual third. Can take a look at here and you see this exposing in point so by default only health and point is exposed okay let's make an update i will change it to yamo refractors and management and point exposure so by default this is the default and this time i will Prometheus. Mm -hmm. Okay, try to stop and rerun it again. I would like to expose the Prometheus endpoint here. Uh, check it. Okay, it's the same. So obviously, we need some dependency for Remetius. And we need to go here. To, we're going to add a runtime dependency. And this one is my Remeter Remetius. Okay, let's add this. And reload Cradle. Okay, let's restart again. So by have the dependency parameter rest three parameters and the parameters and points will expose in the configuration file. I hope we should see the parameters and point here. Okay, now we are there's the parameters and point, and we can click it to see this is the end point that you know the metric returned by parameter and point. 
classes for the first part. On the next step, we will go ahead and create a Docker Compose to deploy Prometheus and Ravana. So I will create a file Docker Compose YAML here. And in this one, version 3 app services and Prometheus. Prometheus. This one, the container name, I will name it Prometheus. That's not a service name, Rafanari. Rafanari. And the container name should be Rafanari. Okay. This image Prometheus. Yeah. And restart await. And extra host. We are, you know, we are defined a mapping here. So we are going to use the host Docker internal to map to our local host outside, right? Mm -hmm. Host Docker internal host gigabyte and the command is config fault and we have to copy the config file from our local storage to the dockers so uh, we're going to create a config file here we're in folder name docker and in docker i will create second folder named Rometheus. Rometheus. and i will put the Rometheus configuration file here file Rometheus Rometheus YAML and this one back to the docker combo I will follow the, the hierarchy here Docker Rometheus uh, Rometheus YAML and I will put it to the etc folder docker Prometheus so whatever you like yes right and I will copy this one here and put here okay so good so uh, next one is like pull it port and 1990 1990 is default port of Prometheus for Rafana simpler images is Rafana 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 okay and port so the default port of Rafana is 3000 okay 3000 3000 Okay, now let's go ahead and create some configuration property for Meteors. So, I will start with global and scrub interval of 10 seconds, uh, evaluation interval. Mm. So, this is the important one the scrap config. This is where Meteors will script data. And we have job name. Here I will name it Hello Servant. Mm -hmm. 
then metric is it should be actuator Prometheus and the static conflict. Target, then I will host Docker internal eighty eighty. So you can see in your Prometheus will start and scrape data from this domain, right? Domain and by we are defined in Docker Compose, this domain we will map to the IP, internal IP of the host. And that's why by using this domain, we can connect from inside the Docker network to the local host of the host machine. Okay, let's try to run it. Go to terminal docker compose. Oop. Then Romitius and Rafana is ready. So we can accept to Romitius at 1990 and Rafana at 3000. Okay, we have localhost 1990. And then we will see the local hot start successfully. And let's see, you know, for example, we have some uh, metric like HTTP server request active here. Okay, let's try to find it here. Yeah, and you can see all the you know, the metric will be listed down here. Okay. So basically, Dometer dot work perfectly, pulling data from this uh, endpoint. And the, the second thing is, take a look at Rafana. So, as a Rafana, we want to set, okay, Rafana, the default username and password of Rafana, admin, admin, they are the same, right? Admin. Okay, admin, admin. So we log into Rafanard. Okay, never. And now you be asked to change the password, but I'll skip it this time. And the first thing you need to do with Rafanard is set up data sources. Okay, so I'll set up it, Prometheus. And so in here, I will put the URL, and you see. In Rafana, because Rafana is same Docker network with Prometheus, so I can use the Prometheus, the contain the Prometheus as a domain to connect to, yeah, to Prometheus. Okay, Prometheus, yes, and by default, Prometheus will run at port 1990. Okay, that's it. So I will save and test it. So okay, successfully query from Remitted API. Okay, so now we have data sources. We can start to create a dashboard. So in dashboard here, so I'm, I think I'm going to, so we can create a dashboard manually or we can import. So I will import this time. And I will read Rafana, Rafana dashboard. And in the refund dashboard, I'm going to search for some ZVM, the virtual machine. And for example, I, I would like this one. It have five mil dollars. Okay, so then I'll, and I'll copy the ID here, 4701, right? Then I'm going to import it here. And import that spot from Rafanar. And okay, I, I'll keep anything for simple, I'll keep anything the same here, the name, the folder, you can do it whatever you want, but you have to set up the data source. And the data source here is, is the Remitius that we just set, set up previously, uh, import. 
then you see yeah, there's some that data pop up here and it means that Rafana is successfully connect to Remedia to scrapped some data and so in its dashboard. So uh, now we are successfully go through entire the diagram here and yeah, thank you for your watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Thank you again.